Well, it's not the ideal day, but we thought we'd better get these girls out of this box so I can fix up this old pickup machine for harvest. Oh, actually, I might sell it, but we'll see how we get on. Hopefully, we can get them out of here and into a real box. So then we can check out what's going on, see, make sure they're all nice and healthy. So they've sat in here for a little bit to make sure that of that. And yeah, so here we go. A bit of a bit of a cutout, I suppose, a cutout from the sweat box. Call the fire brigade the way we're going. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> this could be an interesting little exercise. I think she's a little bit angry, this queen. And of course, she's going to be a lot angry when we stir her up. <laughs> Not just a little bit. I think she's throw away next door a fucking psychopathic. But anyway, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Righty ho. Ah, the fun of cutouts, eh? <laughs> Here we go, we'll see if we get these girls out of this box, into a proper box, so then they can get the bloody hell out of here and go somewhere practical. But, oh, I tell you what, last time I was playing around here on a warmer day, they weren't real happy with me, so... <laughs> Come along for the journey and see if we can get these ladies into somewhere productive. Go smoky dog, go smoky dog. <laughs> I might just grab this old charcoal barbecue thing over here and we can sit here and have a bit of a workbench rather than having to get on the ground like normal. <laughs> then what's the bet the wheels fall apart if you try to wheel it across there? Oh, here. Yeah. Here's a very tidy other shed. Oh, gosh. At least I'm consistent. <laughs> Consistently untidy. That should sit on there quite nicely, I reckon. Give us a bit of a workbench. Should have a bloody barbecue instead of doing this. Having more fun. Let's go and let's go and get ourselves half a pig and light a fire. It's a big good day for a fire. Stuff it. <laughs> Mind you, that's the other show. Here we go. Oh, oh shit! There's a couple of candles there and nothing else. Anyway, they've been quite busy. Oh my goodness gracious! They're a little bit angry, so we're going to wheel, wheel them over here a little bit. And then when they fly off and reorientate themselves, hopefully they'll go back to their original home. And then when we've got shit sorted out, we'll put the box back there. And then they can all go back into a proper box and then we can move them where we want them. So that's my plan. Shit, I fell out the bottom. That's me smoker I just ran over. Oh, yes, 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 chicken Where the hell are we going to start? This is out of control. I think we're just going to see where the nest is and we'll keep some of that and then... Oh, we might... Hey, I tell you what. You never know. <laughs> we might have some sweat box candles. We could just... This is so nice and neat. We could flatten it out and just roll it up. We'll get a pot to put the excess wax in. I think we've got a bit of extra wax going on here. My goodness, they've been busy. <laughs> they are not happy. They are not happy, nature and girls, these lot. Are you? You're not bloody happy at all, you lot. Anyway, we've got to do something with this. They can't stay here. Goodness, chicks. I reckon if we manage to get you out of here, we're going to get you a new queen, because you lot are very upset. Right, they've, they've been doing their own thing for too long. Hopefully we don't find anything nasty in here, besides the fact they're angry. <laughs> when you find these bloody wild swarms and people want you to rescue them, be a bit cautious about where you put them after you get them. That's what we're doing out here in the middle of nowhere. Because you don't want to put them with all your bees. Because who knows what the hell they got going on. Quite often they haven't got, well, I don't know, you know. They're not, not always in trouble, but you don't know. Because until you can pull them apart, you don't know what's going on. There's a little bit of honey happening going on anyway. Well, we'll put the honey separate to the stuff that's extras. And like I've said before, you don't really want to put the honey back on the frames that you're going to put in the new box because that lumen usually ends up in tears. All just ends up a bloody big sticky mess and the, half the time the girl's drowning it anyway. A nice bit of pollen going on anyway. 
Golly gosh, chicks. What have you been doing? <sighs> yes, 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 I know you hate me. You just can't stay in this box, even if you're having fun. You'll get in all sorts of strife here, Will. Because being that we're upside down, you remember this was hanging the other way, all the honey's at the top. And all of this stuff down here's got not much going on, so that's good. So we just tear off the bits we don't really want. We don't really need all that. That might become some sweat box candles, like I said. Whoa, shit, look out. That's got a bit of honey in that. So we're just getting to the brew chamber now. So I'm just making a debating point, but I reckon we're gonna take some and pop it in our box that we want to have. And then if we're really lucky, some of the ladies might go over there. But I doubt that very much. <laughs> so anyway, we'll see what we do. I love the way when they sort of you get into some of these women, I guess are they called native boxes? I don't know anyway, homemade, but the ones that haven't got all organized. They have all these extra little tunnels that they can run through so they don't have to go all the way around. How clever is that? I might just go and get a bucket of water so that I'm not quite so sticky when I try to put that on the frame. So hang about. This isn't probably ideal for these gloves, but anyway. Oh, I don't know. It's better than being that bloody sticky. What have we got there? It's just regulation that you've got to get pulled to bits because that's the way it is. It's, I didn't make the rules. Just quietly, just to let you know. But it is a jolly good idea that you've had a look at you. But you know, they're not as shitty as I thought they were going to be. All things considered. He's a little bit spotty dog, but that's all good. Yeah, which way up are we going? So that was up. So that's going to be the top. Yes. <laughs> just try to put them back together a little bit the same as they were in the box. Yeah, the poor little ladies are thinking, what the hell's going on, Bushby man, you old bastard? We weren't doing anybody any harm. We were just happily living our lives. Yes, but you see, long of term, you were not going to be allowed to live your life. So, you don't know it, but I'm actually on your side. I'm on Team B. Ta -da. That's one down. Actually, I wonder if I'll put it that side, because then it would be the back way, won't it? Sorry, I just confuse everybody. Confuse the shit out of everybody. Oh, I'm easily confused, aren't I? <laughs> Don't answer that. <laughs> the cameraman's been all gracious and reset the shop for the poor blind old bloomin' beekeeper. I couldn't see what I was doing in there in the dark, because it was nice and sunny, but it's been... <laughs> Oh, I don't know, you'd think it's the bloody middle of winter at the minute, but still, it's actually just the start of summer. Just cut around there, and we'll see what we find. I said, hello, hello, Mr. Bushby man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're enjoying getting pulled to bits. Oh, there's some nice new stuff. I'm not doing a bad job, actually. I'm only trying to remember which way's up. I'm going to have to start making up my own songs. I keep getting told I'm not allowed to sing that because that's copyrighted. Don't sing that. That's a bloody hell. It wasn't even a famous song. But it doesn't matter anymore, does it? Because it doesn't matter if the people are still alive or not. The kids are probably around. So, anyway. I reckon they'd probably bloody get excited because I sing so crap. Never mind about worrying about whether, I've, whether I'm doing stealing their great like, granddad's talent. It'll be more about the fact that it shouldn't be bloody allowed to sing, I sing so poorly.
by the time we get this one back, I reckon that's probably going to be all the brood there is, so hopefully. Because it's a jolly heck, it's a big nest. They've got all excited, haven't they? <laughs> God. Yeah, so this is basically the end of it. I thought it would be. I don't know whether the boss is here. They've got plenty of drones in here. So all the drone cells isn't a real good sign for the future. Because um, that means they like making drones rather than making workers. But anyway, they're a lot more chilled out than I expected. So that's good. I don't even think we've got a sting yet. So that looks like the last of it there. So that'll be good. And she's obviously here somewhere. <laughs> Well, it's going to be the fun part, but anyway, we'll work that out in a minute. They're actually way more relaxed than I expected them to be. <laughs> so just remember, after you've placed them on the frame, because you haven't pushed them in and they basically got brewed both sides, and they're sitting on the one, you want to make sure that you sit them all the same way. And ultimately, you're going to take these frames and put them above the clean extruder and get them to make some new drawed comb, and then they'll all be neat and tidy, but anyway. That's a little bit ambitious for the first move. Right. Put it in like that, so it's facing the right way. So they're all back to back. Now I've placed these all so they're actually all facing the same way. So all the front is facing here and then they can hollow to sit into. Like I said, it's not ideal, but you see how that's that way and that's the same. And so then they face into the hole. So you don't want to face the two faces together that are protruding, otherwise they'll be so close together the ladies won't be able to get in and feed the brood and then you'll lose all that effort and they'll have to start again. So the idea is, like I said, so they've got enough bee space to get in and they can feed both sides of their brood and then eventually they'll make it all nice or you, probably what I've found though is you really just have to get rid of this brood and like I said, once they settle down, put it above a queen excluder, let them rear it out, let them build some new bits and then put this in the blooming the waxerizer. So as we said at the start of this video, we've, we've actually put ourselves over here for the daylight, but it's actually working out really good because all the field bees have, don't know what the hell's going on when they're flying around, so they're not sure if they're protecting their home or not, and they're all going back to their original site. So it's actually working out really good. So I reckon we'll do this the next time we have to actually do a cutout. Well, unless it's in a blooming house, because that could be fun trying to move a house, couldn't it? Oh well, weird things have happened, but. Now, after all that excitement, we've got this place in the other way, so I can't see squat here either. Ten bucks just is out here somewhere. <laughs> oh, God. Get this little bit off here and shake that over top of the frames. You never see anybody when you want them. Just a bit saddened, the last video shop in the Riverlands closing down here in Loxton. So, I suppose. I might be held partly responsible because everybody gets to be entertained on YouTube and whatever else is going on. So, anyway, hopefully not. We might drop in and see if we can get a cheap movie. Still hopeful that we'll find her in here because quite often they they don't get off the comb. I think everybody else run, runs for it, but, but then again, they're starting to congregate over there, so hell, maybe we've shaken her in there already. The funds of a cutout, they're always entertainment. I tell you what, I don't know what Kerry said. What was she made me feel better the other day when she said her success rate isn't 100 percent either with this job. So that made me feel a bit more positive. Now, is anybody wondering why the honey is usually on the top and on the outside, and the broods in the middle? Has anybody given that thought yet? The reason is, is because honey is a bloody good insulator. So they put the honey towards the outside. On the like up towards the top where the actually obviously that's the outside of the the um, exposed part and on the outside of the hive so as a, the insulation of the honey will help with the heat retention and then they nest in the middle of it all so there you go well i hope that's right but anyway i'm sure someone out there will tell me if i'm wrong you know what i reckon these girls are thinking we have heard rumours about these bloody big white polar bears that come up and rip your house to bits and we didn't believe a word of it. But now, they've been made true believers. Run, run, run from the polar bears. I was just watching the lad's head. Because <laughs> normally there's the cameraman, he's the one that the bees usually chase when they're really angry. And he hasn't even had a sting yet, so 
He's a good bloomin' barometer, he is for angry bees. <laughs> Just looking at the logistics of our sweat box to the size of our bee box, and we've got to figure out how to get all the ladies into one corner so we can tip them into the rest of the house. So anyway, that's the next part of the project. We've got one little bit left to remove. If we have some miracle and she happens to be there, awesome. But if not, oh well, stage two. What was that TV show behind the doors? You had to pick the door. We were at the last door, so we would be at door number 20 or whatever. The, I don't, don't even remember how many doors they had. But what the hell was that stupid show? And you used to pick a door, well, and you'd get the prize behind the door. It's called something stupid. I don't know. God, a terrible memory, haven't I? <laughs> I kind of half remember the, the show, but I don't remember the details, so I should just be quiet, I think. But anyway, one good thing about this show is people usually write in and tell me what it was. Like that bloody song about the car park and um, the gump and the trees and the tar and the, you know, paving, what is it? The apples and the bees. It's called Big Yellow Taxi Cab. The Big Yellow Taxi Cab, that's the one that I'm not allowed to sing because it's copyrighted. Last draw, my door. Hell, where are we going? Hell, are we going to chase them so that they don't get stuck? That feels kind of cool when you shake them onto your hand and they all go. Lots of that, funny. That's better than when they shake them on your hand and they sting you. Every now and then, you've just got to hand over to your next generation, don't you? The young fella's had a good idea. He reckons we're at about the same height from my sweat box and my bee box. So we might just, and being that our bloody the destroying stand is on wheels, we might wheel ourselves over there and just I, let them run in there themselves or sweep them in there with the broom. Well, with the bee broom, the bee brush, if we want to be really particular. So, there you go. He's not just a pretty face after all. You know, to make the beep noise. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Everything's got a beep these days, isn't it? Ridiculous. Can't work, I think. We'll just land it up a bit and then we'll slide it across. We should be somewhere near it. Hopefully she's not underneath anywhere here, that'd suck. <laughs> Come on. It's interesting, isn't it? Like when they're in a situation like this, I know they can fly away, but they'd rather just walk. They're like just But they're flapping their wings and running their legs at the same time, so that's pretty groovy. <laughs> Just got to move these angry girls that are all the field bees over here, and then we'll put our box over there, and then everybody will figure out where they are. Hopefully. Ow. Goodness me! This is always a bit of excitement to see a rehousing business. <laughs> it's repurposing a whole new meeting. <laughs> Beekeeping. All the angry girls are over here. It's a bloody housing project going mad, isn't it? 
<laughs> what I'm thinking now, we're going to take that box that's got all the field bees back over to our work site and put our new box where that's meant to be. So that's where they're orientated. And then we've got some comb and stuff in there to clean out. And then we'll tip those bees off because they're already there flying. And then we'll be done. Now we'll put this box where their home used to be. Oh! <laughs> down we might actually be able to move them so we're just going to clean up this little bit of shrapnel that's in here as you can see these ladies are the ones that normally attack you so hopefully when they get excited they'll fly back over there we'll give them a little bit of smoke get this out of here look at that go see they're not impressed <laughs> not impressed one little bit safely say that they are terribly impressed but they will be very impressed when they get to move to greener pastures well hopefully <laughs> with a little bit less excitement I reckon hope that was pretty successful really because they look like they're all settling into their new home and then they'll be all they'll be bloody legal bees because they'll have frames that we can look at anyway that's how you get a bloody cutout done hopefully but we'll check back in on them and see if we did catch her majesty we didn't actually get to see her but they got plenty of young and eggs and brood in there anyway so they can raise a new angry queen.